In this video, you'll find the secret to triggering the YouTube algorithm. Should you focus on increasing your percent audience retention with smaller videos or make longer videos that have higher minutes watched? Watch all the way to the end to find out the truth. Subscribe and hit the bell notification icon so you don't miss our next video. This is the second in a series of videos about my paper, Clickbait Works. The secret to getting views with the YouTube algorithm. Later on, I'll give you links to the paper and my video about the importance of likes in the YouTube algorithm. One of the big issues for a video creator is do they focus on percent audience retention or do they focus on watch time? And YouTube is not very specific about this that they they say you should do both right you should have more watch time and you should have greater percent audience retention and you would think maybe those two things are not in conflict but they actually are empirical studies have shown that but if you just think about it if you have a longer video you're gonna get more watch time because it's longer some of your hardcore supporters are gonna are gonna watch that video but most will not and your percent watch time is going to go down as you make a longer video it's just harder to sustain attention for longer periods of time do you make a short video that has a high percent watch time or uh, a long video that has high minutes watched this is what the YouTube Creators Academy says. Your goal is to keep audience retention as close to 100% as you can because this means viewers are watching all the way through your videos. And videos with consistently high audience retention and watch time have the potential to show up more frequently in search and suggested locations on YouTube. So if you think making a high percent audience retention video will trigger the YouTube algorithm, YouTube sends you a curveball when they said in their creator blog in 2012, quote, for example, we've heard from some creators who intentionally made their videos shorter in an attempt to get higher retention rate. Unfortunately, this won't help. While high retention on your videos is a good indication of engagement, we are actually optimizing for how a video contributes to a longer viewing session on YouTube. So your video isn't more likely to be seen just because it's shorter, according to Eric Meyerson, head of Creator Marketing Community. As far as I know, nobody's tested to see if having greater percent audience retention or if having greater minutes watched is more important in terms of getting views. My paper finds that neither are significant in most specifications, but uh, that is, they're positive and significant. In some cases, they are negative and significant, which indicates that a uh, higher percent watch time or higher watch time uh, decreases views. In this table from my paper, Clickbait Works, you can see that minutes watch time and percent watch time per impression are negative and insignificant. That is the opposite of predicted sign and not significantly different than zero, indicating that neither watch time or percent watch time are good predictors of a video's views while expected watch time per impression and day one click-through rate are very strong predictors of a video's views. Some specifications, watch time is significant. And in those specifications, percent watch time is not significant. So if we, don't, we take a log linear model, which is kind of what expected watch time per impression is, it's a special case of that log linear model, then uh, watch time is significant, but percent watch time is not significant or negative and significant. So that indicates that instead of making shorter videos with a higher percent watch time, you should make longer videos with higher minutes watched. So if you have a 10 minute video, that only gets uh, two minutes watch per view or 20% audience retention, that's better than a one minute video that gets 100% audience retention 
and one minute of watch time. So my long linear model, which is a, a more general version of expected watch time per impression model, finds that watch time minutes are important, although not as important as click-through rates, but percent watch time or percent retention is negative and significant. So it's actually a negative indicator that a video is going to get views. So as a creator, you should focus on increasing watch time to the extent it does not reduce your click-through rate because you're not spending time on your thumbnail and title. But you should not stress about making, say, shorter videos to up your percent watch time, nor should you worry about low percent watch time videos. So the video with 30% retention but 4 minutes of watch time is better than the video with 64% retention and 2 minutes of watch time. And that shows up in the YouTube recommendations in this example of these two videos too. The vast majority of the views for the higher watch time video came from recommendations and the YouTube algorithm, whereas the one that was shorter with a higher percent retention only got less than half of its views from YouTube recommendations. That being said, the effects are really uh, small relative to click-through rates for watch time. So if you, you don't want to spend a lot of time creating a longer video if you could make a better title and thumbnail that would improve your click-through rate. So check out our first video in this series about whether likes and dislikes matter to your YouTube videos in terms of how many views they get. Read my full paper, Clickbait Works, The Secret to Getting Views with the YouTube Algorithm. Here's the way to download it for free. I hope to have the comprehensive hero video about the secrets to unlocking the YouTube algorithm on the Slow Boat Sailing channel. So subscribe there and hit the bell notification icon so you don't miss that video. When you go to the link to my paper on SSRN in the description, or probably I'll pin it to the top comment, then you get to this page and you can either click the orange download or the white download, doesn't matter. Then it's going to ask you to register with SSRN. And unless you want to read a lot of working papers, you may not want to register with SSRN. And so the non-registration option is hard to find. It's below the picture of this guy named Greg Gordon at the bottom in that white box. You click on that and they may ask you to verify that you're a human. You might have to click in some sidewalks or something like that depending on the verification and then it'll let you download the paper. Sorry that's so tough. I, I'm kind of upset at SSRN for making it so difficult uh, and I'm considering putting up uh, working papers in a different site because it's involves so many clicks for somebody that's not a logged in SSRN user. Uh, it's free to register with SSRN and the working papers are free. I don't get any information about the people that download my paper. That information's all under SSRN and they don't give me any money. Subscribe to Linus Wilson and you may want to check out my sister channel Slow Boat Sailing where we plan to have the hero video for this series about mastering the YouTube algorithm based on my statistical analysis of it.